Alright, now that you're in the recovery, what you're going to want to do is make a backup of what you currently have. If you want to, I encourage it. I already have a backup made, so I'm not going to do that. But if you wanted to do that, go to Backup and Restore. And you can either choose Backup from this menu, but I like to put all my backups onto my external SD card. So you're going to want to choose that option if you're like me. To get this going, what you're going to do is wipe data, factory reset. And just kind of let it do its thing, don't touch anything, let it format. Alright, so that says complete. Now you're going to want to go to Wipe Cache Partition. Let it do its thing. And then I like to go to Advanced, Wipe Dalva Cache. Now the cache is wiped, then you're going to want to go to, and just go back, then you're going to want to choose install zip from SD card, and I have mine on my external SD card, and you're, usually the downloads will be at the bottom, so you're going to want to go to the correct file, which is going to be the Eclipse S4TW 1.3. Choose that, hit yes, let it install. Alright, the installation is complete, so all I gotta do is hit go back and then reboot system now. I would go ahead and install the contacts fix and you're going to find that file which looks like Eclipse S4TW contacts fix and hit yes shouldn't take that long to install and that's it after you're done with that just hit reboot system now all right we're back now so this is the welcome screen this is basically what you can see on stock android and you'll log into your gmail next is backup and restore just hit next Google location, next, let that load and setup is complete so that's finished and this is what the ROM looks like right out of the box and just to kind of give you that difference of between the inverted and non-inverted in the look and styling you're going to notice that you have a black drop down menu with a blue kind of highlight Google edition or stock Android look you have your brightness notification or bar right here you can hit auto or adjust it to the way that you want you have your Wi-Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth, GPS, all those shortcuts here at the top you can look at it in a grid view the camera comes with the TouchWiz camera which I really like that option I don't like the Google edition or the stock Android camera as much as TouchWiz um, with the TouchWiz you get a lot more features you still get all your different capabilities here and you get your shortcuts to your video camera just a lot easier in my opinion to use got all the same options so it's the TouchWiz camera I like that a lot it's a better camera in my opinion you don't lose out on the Samsung Galaxy S4 software for the camera when you have this ROM the messaging app is the Google stock look.
and then you have your list of text messages here you have your options you get the Google keyboard for your stock keyboard so it's just different than your touch whiz. I like this look a lot better this is the part that I like um, about stock Android it just looks better I like the look of it much better Gmail is going to be black so it kind of looks pretty cool I like it it's not a bad option Hangouts will be black. Basically all your Google apps will be black. If not everything else. Like I said, this is the Nova launcher, so if you have a Nova backup, you can hit your restore and it'll back get your backup up and running. Let's go to the Play Store. Kind of give you the idea what that looks like. As you can see, it's all black looks cool so now the YouTube app will be black gives you that black background kinda let you see what that looks like as you can see just totally different look it's very cool it's like a black edition of the Google edition or stock Android. So really cool stuff. Go back to let's see the dialer looks a little different. You have your recent favorites, then your contacts, and that's good to go there. So you have all your contacts listed here in the black edition. So it looks really cool. So I like the option that the developer puts in here. Give a big shout out to him. Good work. I really like this ROM. It looks great. If you have any questions about this ROM or anything about rooting, I'll try to answer those to the best of my abilities. Head on over to XDA, get these files, get this ROM loaded, and get your S4 looking stellar. Here's what the lock screen looks like. It's pretty cool. You get a different background, and you can either go straight to your camera, be sure to follow Bantech on all the social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. Please subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Until then, this is Josh Bantech. I'll see you in the next video.